Two Chairs No Waiting, episode number 291. Howard McNear cuts up. <laughs> Two Chairs No Waiting is brought to you each week by the fine folks over at WeaversDepartmentStore.com. Drop by over at Weavers and check out some of the new t-shirts they've got. they also got a few special items right now. If you're hearing this anytime in the month of August 2014, you might have a chance. Head over to WeaversDepartmentStore.com and check it out. Two Chairs No Waiting is also brought to you by donations from listeners just like you. The executive producer of episode number 291 is Randy Brewer. Thank you, Randy. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Alan Newsom, your host for Two Chairs No Waiting, the Andy Griffith Show fan podcast. If you're a fan of the Andy Griffith Show, we got 290 episodes you can go back and listen to and uh, catch up. Uh, there's a lot of stuff out back there, stuff I can't even remember. So we may start repeating ourselves because my memory's getting worse. <laughs> no, really, it's, uh, I think I said I'm Alan Newsom. See, I told you my memory's getting worse. It's good to have you with me. I always enjoy spending a little bit of time in Mayberry. And uh, this week is no exception because I got an email uh, the other day from a fellow named uh, Randy Brewer, and he sent me a link that he had found to the May 6th, 1961 issue of the Milwaukee Sentinel. Okay, now you were wondering, why did he send me this? Well, it's, uh, it's because it has a great story in that paper from back in 1961 of Mr. Uh, Howard McNear, Floyd the Barber himself, has a great story. Now, it was a little bit hard to read the story because the actual newspaper, uh, there was words missing. The scan of the newspaper had words uh, that weren't, they didn't scan very well. They must have been light print, and so it didn't scan in whenever they scanned this onto the Internet. But I believe I was able to go back and piece together the words. And this is uh, a little bit of history here about uh, our very own Floyd the Barber and I thought you guys would enjoy hearing this because it's definitely something I've never run across before and I want to thank Randy for digging this up and sending it to us so we can share it right here on Two Chairs No Waiting. So let's get started reading this and uh, bear with me as I try to say some of the words that I don't know how you say them so feel free to call in and later and tell me how badly I messed up on some of these names. <laughs> All right, here's the story. McNear, Barber Who Cuts Up by J.A. Amont of the U United Press International. So this was UPI back in those days. This is in Hollywood, it says. Howard McNear is a member of a pioneer North Carolina family from Petaluma, so-called the so-called egg basket of the world and has been an actor for years but uh, he has become a bar but he had to become a barber to start being recognized on the street after long years of stock companies on the radio and in movies he's achieved his greatest fame through tv's pl through tv playing floyd the fussy barber on the andy griffith show 8.30 p.m. Mondays on CBS TV. And his services are much in demand. This is a quote. I think when I read uh, Howard's, I'll, talk, I'll try to talk like Floyd. Uh, here, here it says, I can't understand it, he said. After all these years, now people are beginning to recognize me on the street and in restaurants. And they even mistake my brother for me. Uh, and he, he's quite flattered. <laughs> he appeared on TV with George Goebel, Jack Benny, and in Peter Gunn, the series, uh, among others, and for 10 years has been the voice of Doc on the radio version of Gunsmoke. Shy as a boy is the headline here. It says, uh, my first TV show was with George Goebel, said McNear in an interview. I was scared to go out there in front of 30 million people all at once. But George was very helpful to me, McNair said. He said, I was shy as a boy. And he states he still is shy. He speaks in awe of Jack Benny. Uh, he's a big star who took trouble to call my wife once and tell her how well 
He thought I did in one of his shows. My wife was in tears afterwards. Uh, she was so happy. Sometimes it's difficult to tell whether McNear is, in his whimsical fashion, is pulling one's leg. They say Jack Benny is cheap, he said, but I don't think so. He paid me $800 for a little commercial. <laughs> Howard got his first dramatic training from, here we go with names I don't know, from Patea, it's P-A-T-I-A, Patea Power. Uh, she's the mother of the late film star Tyrone Power. My mother agreed to let me go to the school, he recalled. But I was so shy, I walked up there and uh, down the street in front of it for three days before I had the courage to go inside. <laughs> McNear was born in the heart of Los Angeles at Hope Street and Jefferson Boulevard. His mother was born in Petaluma. His father died at the age of 27. McNear grew up in San Gabriel near Los Angeles and drew inspiration from the kindly neighbor John S. McGorte, uh, California's beloved poet laureate. McGorte wrote and staged the annual mission play depicting the life of Franciscan missionary uh, Junipero Sierra. McNear got his first taste of theater life as an usher at the play, and then he won a part in it. For many years, he was with the Savoy Players Stock Company in San Diego, California. He was not confirmed. Uh, conf he was not confined to comedy in those days. I played the part of a young man who was executed in a very dramatic thing called. The noose, he said. I played a part of a prize fighter in Izato, and my opponent hit me harder than he meant to on the nose, and I bled all through the next act. <laughs> he punched me. He punched in the nose there. <clears throat> all right, back to the story. Sorry. Uh, at 55, McNear is content with his career. One of his main interests in life these days is his 16-year-old son, Christopher Kitt. The boy's named after McNear's ancestor, who was a sea captain. Young Kitt doesn't want to be an actor like his dad. He, he wants to be a fishing boat captain, said Shy, Shy Howard, shaking his head at the interpreter of the youngster. I can't say words. Words are hard. Uh, anyway, that's the story. That's the story uh, that we ran across. And I want to thank uh, I want to thank Randy for running across that and finding it for us. I thought that was uh, just a little insight into Howard McNear, Floyd the Barber. And uh, there's a great picture in the uh, in the article of him. is looks like a pretty young man, and it said uh, Howard McNear. Got his start with Global. So, Global, I mean. So, George Global. And I remember George Global mostly from Hollywood Squares. I don't know if you remember him from that or not, but that's where I remember him from. And basically, uh, that is my story for the day. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, this is a short episode of I Only Talk About That. So, let's talk about something else. <laughs> hey, uh, just recently, back in July, let's see what day it was. Uh, it was back in July uh, of 2014. We had a Mayberry meetup over in Mount Airy, North Carolina. We'd done that in the years past. We did that uh, in 2013 as well. And it turned out, you know, we had 20 or so people, 30 people that showed up for that time. So we did it again up in Mount Airy, North Carolina. And it was a, a great bit of fun. We fir First night, we went to a restaurant there that's called The Depot. Beautiful place if you hadn't been there. They have weddings and all kinds of stuff at this place. So if you're ever in Mount Airy, you can head over to, I think it's in Dobson. You can head over that way and actually see uh, the Depot. And it's a really good restaurant, a lot of fun, easy place to go with a big crowd and be able to get a seat. Then we headed back over to the Mayberry Motor Inn for an evening under the stars where we uh, met out at the gazebo. And we put up a projector and everything, and uh, was able to, we were able to watch uh, episodes of the Andy Griffith Show, and just sit around and visit with one another. And we uh, we did that both Friday 
and Saturday night uh, the, and just had a great time visiting. We probably had 20 to 30 people. People that were just staying at the Motor Inn came out and joined us and watched episodes uh, sitting in the gazebo with us. And friends, I, I got to tell you, that's what Mayberry is about. We get together with friends and just smile and laugh and tell stories uh, that gazebo setting in it is a lot like sitting on Andy's porch and visiting with one another. Uh, and I, I just can't say enough. We had folks that came from Ohio, Indiana, uh, where else? Uh, Alabama, obviously, Tennessee, uh, several from North Carolina. Uh, let's see, uh, Steve and Kathy, they're from Ohio, right? Steve and Kathy, the Hinkleys, I think I got that right. Uh, but uh, we had people from Mount Airy joining us. And as I said, we just had people that were sitting, uh, <laughs> sitting there or staying there at the Mayberry Motor Inn came out and joined us for the episodes and just sitting around visiting out under the stars in the gazebo at the Mayberry Motor Inn. Now, if you've never seen it, you can head over to the Two Chairs No Waiting Facebook page at facebook.com slash two chairs. T W O chairs, all one word, and you'll be able to see these pictures that we took and posted. That uh, you, you just get a little bit of sense of us just sitting around out there. We all had, you know, you know, Coca Cola or Pepsi's or Mountain Dews, Diet Mountain Dews, whatever everybody wanted to drink. But we had all kinds of stuff out there, food to eat. We had Subway sandwiches on Saturday night, and it was an absolutely great time. Now, I didn't mention that on Saturday, uh, we headed over to the uh, Mayberry, uh, I'm sorry, the Andy Griffith Playhouse and visited with uh, Neil Brower because he was there doing his uh, show that he does, or not show, but his presentation. He does a presentation there uh, on uh, once a month, and he, he was doing that. That was a great, great time there as well. We got to visit with some of the Barney chapter. They had come up, and they, they normally had their uh, uh, chapter meeting that night, but they decided to cancel their chapter meeting and head up to Mount Airy, North Carolina, to visit with us for an evening there in Mount Airy. And so, you know, you can't, you can't beat that. We even, uh, I do believe we even made the bullet this time. So we talked about the bullet last week. There's uh, some pictures of us being in the, uh, this Mayberry meetup having occurred in Mount Airy. Uh, so we, we had a special, special time. And I definitely want to encourage you, if you get to do it next year, if we get to do this again, that you would actually head over to Mount Airy with us uh, so you could be a part of it as well because uh, we, we had a absolutely wonderful time, and it's definitely what Mayberry is all about. So if you can't come to the meetup, create one of your own. Have your friends over to your house and watch episodes of the Andy Griffith Show and spend some time together. You know, cook some apple pie or just buy it at the grocery store and put it in the you know put it in the oven and cook it. You know, put ice cream on it. It's great. <laughs> but I just want to encourage you. It's a great time, I'd, and you need to get out there and spend some time with your friends because it's great. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for coming. This is a short episode. I hope you enjoyed it, even though it was short. Uh, you got to hear about Floyd. So you can go back and listen to that and try to correct all my grammatical errors if I made some, which I'm you know, I'm sure I did. And I'd love to hear from you guys. You can give me a call at 888-684-8415. And uh, you can also email me at floyd at imaybear.com or just head over to two chairs no waiting.com and there's all kinds of ways to contact me listed right there on every episode just go to the episode notes or any episode and the contact information is right there so folks thank you again for coming and we'll see you next week right here on two chairs no waiting good night everybody <laughs>